On a sunny Saturday morning in November 2011, NASA sent a science lab from the Florida coast to the planet Mars. The Mars Science Laboratory itself was protected in a capsule at the very tip. The final stage of the launch vehicle thrust the craft beyond the clutch of Earth's gravity and into the void of space for its eight and a half month journey. The spacecraft uses the stars to navigate as it spins toward its destination. During the crew stage of the mission, there were six opportunities for the spacecraft to correct its trajectory. In June, NASA engineers started getting ready for the August 5th arrival. Ten minutes before the spacecraft hits Mars' atmosphere, the crew stage will separate. Three minutes later, the seven minutes of terror begin. That's what NASA calls the complex and unprecedented entry, descent, and landing process for its heaviest ever rover. The spacecraft will hit Mars' atmosphere at about 13,000 miles per hour, 78 miles above the surface. Due to friction, its heat shield will reach 1,600 degrees Fahrenheit. When the craft slows to about 1,000 miles per hour, its parachute will open at about 750 miles per hour, just below the speed of sound. The heat shield will separate and the craft will use radar to detect the surface. When the spacecraft is about a mile off the ground and still traveling 200 miles per hour, the back shell will separate and the power descent stage will deploy and fire its landing engines. Its thrusters are designed to ease the rover to the surface. When the descent stage is 60 feet above the ground and traveling just two miles per hour, the bold sky crane maneuver begins. The rover will be lowered on a trio of tethers while it locks its wheels in place for touchdown. This is a new move for NASA. In the past, it used airbags to land rovers on Mars, but that wouldn't work for the Mars Science Laboratory. Once the wheels arrive, the descent stage will cut loose and fly away to a crash landing. NASA engineers know it looks crazy, but they promise it's the result of reasoned engineering.